Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is Stellaris, our oh, let's play with the Space Parrots, also known as the Orni. In this episode we found out that there are even more empires surrounding us. Um, these guys kind of seem like douchebags, they see the phobic bastards rival us directly. Uh, these guys over there eavesdropped on our communications, so that's how they knew that we are here. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I trust any of those two. I don't trust these guys, and I somewhat trust the Hewlian Democratic Sons, which are basically our project complete. allied neighbors. Allied neighbors. We also have this quest over here, which says that we should get some specimens, some life specimen from some of the habitable worlds around our systems. So we got the Orinthi. The small rodent-like creature known as the Orinthi are native to the GOC Rise. Interesting. Native to GOC Rise? They're native to our they're native to our science ship? What the frick? I do okay. Where the habitat across What? Well, why do we have Okay, wait a second. I guess this is kinda botched. The small rodent-like creatures, known as Orinthi, are native to our science ship, where the habitat extends across most of these diverse climatic regions. They breed at extremely rapid rap rate and seem to have a particular fondness of for chewing electric cables. Okay. Procuring the specimen was not a problem. In fact, after the initial uh, creatures were collected. More of them made their way onto the rise by, hitch by hitching rides on hitch science ships orbital shuttles? What the? What? I don't even... Okay, you know, I get it. If they are native to this world, okay. To... Actually, where is our science ship? Is it? Yeah, there. So that's actually... Rookie, so that's actually our own. We, we actually had the planet. I I don't uh, whatever. I don't even. I don't even. Oops. Whoa. Oh yeah. Interesting. I use the scroll wheel to uh, move up and down, and since my mouse wheel or scroll wheel has also the ability to you know flick right and left, you can also zoom in there. So I had little. Basm in my my finger that you know just click the mouse wheel to the left and that's why we zoomed out that fast. Anyways, let's take a look at all the other things that we can procure, right? Check on map. Okay, that's directly in the neighboring system. Interesting. Huh? What? How? What the hell? This is so weird. Okay, so the, these guys are researching that. What? I don't even... I don't get it. So the Tastrogoid is an extremely lethal predator that stalks the dense jungles of... Yeah, right. The dense jungles of our science ship at night, paralyzing its prey with electric shocks before sucking their brains out with its tube-like mouth? What the heck? Unfortunately, three of the crew members from estimating I were lost to this crew. Whoa, no. Yeah, I hope so. Why would you even say excellent to this? It's like, no, why? Those guys got their brains sucked out. I mean, come on. That's stupendously weird. Let's go to. Do we have access to this system? Yeah, right. Uh, no, we haven't. Super duper awesome. We don't have border access there, we don't have border access there, and we don't have border access there. Okay, track and map. Let's track all of these. Let's take a peek. Where could it be? Okay, half of... Okay, oh, come on. We would have... We would need border access through these guys. And the, the neighbors. These guys are super xenophobic. Uh, xenophobic. I don't think they will ever give us access. Down here? Maybe. 
Let's take a science ship and move it at least to this. Nope. No, no, no. That's the wrong one. Oh, you're done. Okay. I thought this... What is still blinking here? This project has already been researched? What the f... Why are you even on the map then? What? Oh. What? I don't even get... I, I just... I give up. Okay, so some of these things are kind of botched. I mean, okay, so whatever. Doesn't matter. No problem. Let's ask these bastards here for, mili oops, for military access. I don't think they will give us, but uh, whatever. You know, I don't think we can... Ah, oh, well. Whatever. We, can, we will communicate with them. Look, what do you want for border access? On, I mean civilian access, right? Minus a thousand. Okay. Due to the weary. Mm, yeah, I guess, I guess so. Uh, if we give... No, they won't. They, they don't want to give us... They hate us way too much. Research complete. Huh. What if I give you civilian? No, they don't even want it. That's a problem. We could give them, of course, instant transfer of I don't know what. Let's do a go for shift clicks. Okay, they, they don't. They're just whatever. Nope, we can't do it. Uh, yeah, so can we move that away maybe? Um. Oh yeah, nice. That's that's good. Oh, because I wasn't scrolled. I'm I'm stupid. Hyperlane mapping, eh? Although we do not travel through hyperspace, the mapping of the galaxy's extensive hyperlane network gives us a clear advantage against those who do. That is actually true. That is actually true. Better subspace sensors. Interesting. Improved deflectors. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's a rare technology. Uh, 33 months is not that long. And knowing... I don't even know who uses hyperdrive lane, hyper lanes, though. Let's take a look. Maybe we can find that out. Let's see. Ah, frick. I always would get this F3. Is it possible to find out who's using... What? Hmm. I guess no. The traits. Interesting. So. No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, we didn't even know that our neighbors were using. Um, these neighbors, our allies actually, were using wormhole stations. Or wormhole drives. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm into that. It seems to be a really useful strategic thing to have. Let's see if we can get access through those system. Somebody insulted us or something? No, we have. Yeah, we have an insult. There we go. The great altar guys. Oh, and we're also currently electing people, uh, new leaders. I mean. You will forgive me if I dim my display. I simply cannot look at your... Yeah, right. And we should look at you. You ugly son of a... Yeah, we have elections. Elections are progress. Select a candidate to support or spend influence to keep our current ruler. All right. All right. If we don't interfere, someone random will be chosen. Okay, scientific leap. What's his agenda mean? Look, I no, I don't want to. All right, whatever. So we have a fertility preacher with explorer. That's fine. I mean, they're all kind of equal. I'm all, the only reason that I would choose a new one is maybe age. We get some more credits. That's nice. Warlike have sh minus ship costs. Also not too bad. More research. Oh, well, both have more research speed. Not too shabby. 
Less grow time, also not too bad. Oh, okay, their agenda scientific leap gives us more speed. I yeah, okay, okay, okay. Secure the borders, makes sense. Warlike, fertility breacher, monthly influence. Actually, not too bad. I don't even want to... I mean, I don't want to invest 200... They're all kind of good, so I will abstain. So Feathers of Purple is our new ruler. That's the guy with more credits, that's nice. And with minus ships, plus. That is a good one. Good one, I like him. He's kind of old though, so he might die. Yeah, we are not get we we're not getting access through here. That's basically impossible. Why? Because they just insulted us. They just insulted us. They really hate our guts. Yeah, mainly because they're xenophobic bastards and they also hate our allies. So yeah, they're hostile towards us. We're kind of equivalent. The naval capacity is superior. But uh, fleet power and uh, technological level is basically the same. Okay, that's good. Fine, whatever. How long till con colonial worlds? 17 months still. Oh man. Oh, and that scientist got elected, I guess. Research. Busy researching. Busy commanding. Busy commanding. Yep. That guy got elected into office. That's why. Interesting. Well, new one then. Ooh, a maniac. Actually, is this good? Research speed? He's young. Claws of gold. Or somebody who is an expert in field manipulation or a biology guy. No, biology guy isn't really. We need to recruit that guy. So go ahead and do stuff. You maniac. Good, good. Um, well, I something I wanted to... Yeah, 70 months. But there was something else. Can we build some new stuff, maybe? Uh, you should press 1 and X. There we go. Ah, yes, of course. We can upgrade our power plants, and we will do that. Power plant level 2. We will queue that for this one as well, because we need money. Go ahead and build those. Also on Rookie. Ah, I completely neglected that, so no. I should put my phone on mute. Come on. There we go. Hmm. I completely neglected that. We should we need way more stuff? No, crap. Oh yeah, we can build we, we could upgrade this one here, but that's Freaking expensive, and we don't, we, we're not gaining influence at the moment, so we can't do it. Alright, can we, no we can't, only can remove these two tiles because I'm an idiot. And I forgot that dense jungle removal would be way better. Ah, crap. We're going to build a power plant, if I could. Come on. Why can't, what? Requires a planetary... Administration? Why? I don't get it. Why do I need an administration to build stuff? I don't get... I, what? That is weird. Don't you think? Ah oh man, I completely neglected that. Yeah, let's get this in. Okay, let's get... Let's move you two over there for now. Let's build a... Basic science lab right on top of that. Next, I w why can't I build... Okay, why can't I build power plants? Planetary administration. So we need to upgrade our main plot thing. Seems like... Yeah, we need planetary administration. Oh man, that's so expensive though. Well, I guess if we have to, we have to. Rookie, we upgrade you then. 
It's expensive, but we need to. So we lost kind of a lot of this thing. 100 to be exact. Maybe we rival those guys back. I mean, they hate us anyway, so... Declare rivalry. That should give us influence. And make the other rivals more friendly towards us. Yeah, that's good. So we rivaled them back. It's basically, they rival us, we rival them back. So we gain stuff. But we lose more. Because alliance costs us a lot. Can we deconstruct the frontier outposts? It would be good. We don't need this frontier outpost anymore because we have a planet over there. Let's see, take a peek if we can. Uh, can we decommission this? Yeah, we can. Yes. And we're gaining again. Yeah, perfect. Because we need we, we lost a little bit of influence down here, but it doesn't really matter. We, we're going to build a colony over here anyways, so... That will increase, uh, increase it again. Good, good. Anything else that we want to do? Somebody established a... Embassy here. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. These are the Psy guys over there. It's a, looks kind of like the Greek letter Psy. Which also looks kind of like this trident thing. Alright, that's that. Anything else? I mean, if they actually aim to like, uh, to be, you know, friendly towards us, uh, where are they? Robots? Where are robots? You know about robots? Interesting. Well, robot is a species without home planets. I guess somebody built robotic, uh, robotic guys. So yeah, you. You're adaptive and you like deserts. Wow, look at those guys. They're huge compared to us. Oh, and they're still alive, but I guess they got... I guess they got enslaved or something. Or not really enslaved, but they are now a vassal. Hmm. Well, I should ask empires actually. Yeah, see, they they are not they not don't appear on this. Huh. Yeah. So these guys hate us. They are kind of weary. These guys are on the other hand kind of like us. So we're going to talk to them. And do we have an embassy still? Total of three at the same time. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I think this is all the embassies that we can have. I think we have an embassy with those guys, with our neighbors, and not with them. Makes a lot of sense to me. So we gain a lot of, of energy at the moment. That's good. I like to get as much energy as we can. Stock it up, build a war chest. Because we all know that we will go to war rather soon. Okay, so Rookie got that done. Good, good. Where's the planetary administration thing? Oh man, I why did I plonk it down there? I'm so stupid. We only get two bony here. Oh, Christ. Let's build that over there. Don't Research don't really complete. need the. Uh, need that. I guess we're going to get another hydroponic thing here. Pause because we have a research pending. Going to build a mine down here. I think I, I feel like I need to... I just need to pump out more buildings. I queue them up before I forget again. Going to upgrade the power plant, of course. And that's it for now. We don't even have enough parrots here, I guess. That has a parrot, that has a parrot. We're building something here that has a parrot. You build another power plant, of course. So go ahead, power plant that. Alright, so every parrot has a building. Great. That's what I need to see. You guys have upgraded your main building, haven't you? Or are you still in the progress of doing so? Seems like they're still in the progress of doing so. 
So you get a farm. I don't rightly know if I... No, we're going to get a power plant. Oops, I forgot to get assign a thingy. Oh, we can't build power plants because this isn't done yet. Okay, fine. Ocean worlds don't really need them. Army upkeep minus 10. Oh, that's good. That seems interesting. Colonial centralization would give us more influence. Seems also really good. Increased habitability. What, what, what's habitability actually do? I wait a second. Oh yeah, that's the maximum. That's the maximum hap uh, happiness that people can have on a planet. So if you have a planet with 80% habitability, I guess you can only have 80% happiness. <laughs> Regenerative hull tissue is still way out of reach. Genome mapping seems like a good thing to have. So, I don't know. I guess I go for genome mapping now. I mean, it's... Oh, wait a second. He's good at, good at new world expertise, eh? Let's go for colonial centralization. That's edicts. That's not really that what I want. But planetary capitals, also pretty good. Upgrading our planets. Seems like a... Seems like a smart thing to do. Oh yeah, and we're in a Righteous Alliance. Okay, so we can vote to transform into full federation. But it needs four. Okay, okay. I will not leave this. They have 26 ships, 10 armies, 6 planets. They are huge, man. They're huge. Ah, yes. So we now can actually build a new colony ship. I almost forgot about that. Uh, so... Press 1 and spaceport has V, okay. Um, ooh, we can upgrade that as well. Let's build xenophile people. Uh, take xenophile people and build a colony ship with them. And to be honest with you, I do think we should upgrade this so we get cruisers. Oh yeah. Also, why is our first murder not in orbit? Uh, also, why is, not the, why is the construction ship not in orbit? That actually is costing us money. People in orbit cost less, 25% less maintenance, so yeah. Kinda lost a lot of money not doing that. Of course, it's not really money, it's energy credits, but still. Reducing money with power plants, which is great. So these guys are all building, it's good. We like that. So, anything else? What do we really want to do? Yeah, we're getting a colony ship. We move that over there. That's really important. 60% habitability sucks, but hey, what can you do? That's the next thing that we want to do is, I think, upgrade habitability so people aren't, you know, whining. Just one question, though. How awesome would it be to live on a planet with rings. Do you think that would look cool? If you look up in the night sky and see this? On the other hand, it would be rather bad for space exploration now, wouldn't it be? Because you... And also satellites, maybe? Because it's, you know, all these rings could kind of destroy your satellites. Unless you, of course, go outside the ring. But then you always have to launch something that you that avoids the disk some, somewhere down and over here, and you can't really do this. Well, it's rotating that way. Can't really do this assisted thing. We're gonna launch up and then just move with the rotation. Or against the rotation, I forgot. No, it's with. So, it looks like the, it looks like this thing is directly on, on the equator. Let's see if I can pan the camera back. Oh, whatever. Alright, so we're going to increase habitability, that's that's the next thing. And yeah, I guess we, we're pretty much done for this episode. It looks crack it looks good, it looks good. Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, scientific research stuff to do, but we can't go there because these two guys hate our guts. So we can't move into the territory, we can't get access. We actually got insulted by the orange guys up there, they said that we look ugly. 
Which hurts. I mean, come on. We don't. We're parents. We're beautiful. And yeah, that means we we are wedged in between our alliance here is wedged between two guys that really hate us. These guys, militaristic bastards. These guys, xenophobic assholes. These guys seem kind of friendly though. Anyways, I guess in the next episode we will see what happens to our galaxy, or you know, to us in this galaxy. I guess. Whatever. I'm talking out of my ass. That's the good point to stop this episode so thanks for watching i hope to see you next time and as always auf wiedersehen